Did you hear about the audition thing? <laughs> it's so stupid. I mean, who would audition for that? I saw Noah going through the halls today, and he's seen One Direction like an idiot. If I did something like that, I'd be caught dead. Yeah. One Direction, more like Wrong Direction. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's just so crazy, right? Everybody's losing their minds. I mean, I thought about it. And then I was like, no, 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 of course not. No. You thought about it too? Yes. I was thinking about this whole Frank Sinatra number. We could do a whole rap pack thing. I'll be Dean Martin. And I'll be Frank Sinatra. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. I mean, it's not stupid, you know. Yeah. Frick! Ugh. Read to me. What the heck? Ugh. Who throws a burrito? You asked for a burrito. Oh my god, man. You asked for a burrito and then you pop off. Just a buzz, Angelo. I know. It's so fun to see everyone so excited. Taco Bell was something, but this is really something special. Our correspondent, Abby, is working on turning all of this into a documentary. Let's check in with her now. Abby, what are you seeing out there? Well, it's a wild scene out here, guys. Everyone's showing up to dust up their talents and seize this opportunity. A bunch of shenanigans, if you ask me. Hey, guys, get the goat off the trampoline. Checked in with a few folks already. Mitchell, roll the tape. I've got to help this goat. Hey, guys, goats aren't made for bouncing. So, Maggie, what was your initial reaction to One Direction coming to Shortcrest? Uh, well, I was shocked, but even more so, I was excited to hear that you could audition to be the opening act. So I take it you're excited to audition then? Oh, yeah, certainly. I auditioned for everything. I love to perform. Any special talents? How are you going to wow 1D? Um, well, I've been Irish dancing since I was in second grade, and I only know of one other Irish dancer at the school, and she's probably not going out for this, so I have a leg up. <laughs> Leg up, get it, because you're an Irish dancer. So Grace, how did you find out about One Direction coming to our school? Who? OMG, my friend checker just said that 1D is coming to our school. Yeah, I actually wanted to know how you felt about that. What is up, friend checker? I feel so excited. This just in, One Direction is having a reunion concert at my very own high school. You know, I was actually at their second to last ever concert here in Seattle. Well, they're holding auditions for an opener. No way. Vote yes or no. Should I audition to be the opener? Like for yes, comment for no. Let's get more likes than comments, guys. And we can start trending the hashtag Shortcrest Secret Surprise. So I take you, you're very happy. Oh, I'm actually filming a video right now. So just hold on one second while I finish that. Okay, guys, make sure to get that hashtag trending. Let's get it number one everywhere. Can I 
say when I see her face All of time stands still I want you to see that you hold this place But you never will All that I want is to hold your hand Someday soon Lonely days are far behind Will it ever start? Cause I'm stuck with you inside my mind But I want you Hey, do you think you might want to go to the movies this Friday? I could come pick you up and we could go see superhero action movie. I know you might be busy, but I think it could be fun, you know? Just the two of us at the movies. And well, I know you and you know me. And what I'm trying to say is I like you a lot. Will you go out with me? I'm sorry, did you say something? Oh, uh, no. No. Okay. Bye. Bye. Ooh, and again, she's not even a friend, and I don't know why. Do something soon by this afternoon, or kiss her. you when you found out about this year's surprise. I was in TMC, Mystic Club for short. We were watching that Leo girl on SCNN announce it. I've actually been predicting a huge shift in our school atmosphere ever since Mars went into retrograde. So were you excited to hear that One Direction is back together? I was actually really excited to hear about it, but I'm worried for the dynamic of the group with all of them being Earth signs, except Harry's. I mean, He's an Aquarius. You'd think Zane was the odd one out because he totally ditched him a while back. But I'll have you know he's a rising Pisces, so really, it all makes sense. You think you'll audition to be the opening act? The, that's a loaded question, but um, I'm still deciding if it's the best option for me to enter into all that um, competitive energy. Here we go. So Cole, what do you think of this super special secret surprise? Ugh, man, I feel so robbed, you know? Last year's Bruno thing? Ten times better. Better than the most talked about boy band of the century? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Are you kidding me? The ultra mega burrito fiesta again? I'd love to have that, you know? Food fight! <laughs> I'm kind of glad I won't get queso thrown in my face again. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't. Okay. This is your chance. Go over, talk to her. The world's gonna pass. Wow, that was really good. They're going to pick you for sure. Thanks. I don't know, I just can't seem to get this lyric right. There are only so many words that rhyme with direction. 
I, I just, I wanted to go my first direction, but then I wanted to go another direction, and now it just feels like this song has no direction. Well, uh... That's it! You are a genius! I can just kiss you right now! It's all about direction. How could I not see that before? It must have been the pressure. It's clouded my thinking, but it's not going to cloud my view of Louis. Noah, thank you! I just need to head in the direction that One Direction sent me so many years ago. Uh, you're welcome. Seventeen years old, I've been nothing but bold. Swimming through the deep end, chasing stars. Kicking their faces, thinking the race is over. But I've not run too far. My leg must be broken, I must have misspoken. I care, yeah, I care so hard about my obsession. But here's the question. What besides One Direction? See, I suck them on Twitter, and I'd be the winner if there is a prize for biggest fan. If you check my screen time, you'd see I spend nine hours on their Instagrams. My Spotify tells me the boys in one deep make up my top artist in band. Since I was 11, I'm a girl second, cause you know first I am a stan. Stan is a slang term that combines the word stalker and fan. It means a person who is obsessed with their object of interest to an extreme degree. An example of this in a sentence is, Harper is the biggest One Direction stan in the world. I don't do much fan why my friends with pictures of Louis from when he was 17 and just I gotta act my age, the war is perfect to live while we're young. The midnight is changing, the memory's fading. Come the AM, there's still the one direction I go, that's why I'm never bestowed. The ox when I'm sitting shotgun. I was 1D knowledge, gonna help me in college, except to have trivia night one. This is my chance, this is my big chance for everything I wanted. This is my chance, this is my big chance to make my heroes proud. All of my life, all of my damn life, the streets are burning. Henry, what's your take on One Direction coming One to the direction, store, Chris? I'm not about it. They're not cool. They don't write their own songs. Not even. Who does write their own songs, Henry? 
I write my own songs. Yeah, you write your own songs. You, yeah, okay. So you're not gonna audition for them? I'm not gonna audition. It's Wait. not worth my time. Okay, but can you talk more about that? Talk more about, I don't, I don't want to, no, I'm not part of this interview. I'm not doing this. Dance off? Dance off? Not now. Besides, you'd lose. No, we want to think about this. We have to nail the audition. And I'm tired of you being out of sync on those last steps. Yeah, I'm tired of being out of sync on those last steps. Show me one more time. Okay, fine. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, got it. Okay, go. Five, six, seven, eight. I got it! Yes, you got it! Now all you have to do is learn the rest of it. It's okay. You're not totally helpless. Let me see how Vegas and Enrique are doing on the lyric. Hey, you two! What is up? Party people are here! How's the song coming? So good. So good. I'm all like, down with the party, don't you know? And then I'm like, to celebrate this afterglow. And then I'm all like, oh, yeah, yeah. Girl, I thought you said I could add that riff. Ain't nobody takes my riff. We'll talk about this later. So it's good? It'll be ready by Friday? Yes. yes. We'll get it to you ASAP. I thought I told you not to one-up me in front of them. I'm sorry, I get carried away when I'm feeling it. Mm-hmm. Okay, looks like we're good. Practice tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Perfect. White sage for cleansing, right? White sage is for purifying air. Blue sage is for cleansing it. Very different. Right. Sorry. Amethyst should be placed in each corner of the room, and a single piece of smoky cork should be placed into the refrigerator to negate the electromagnetic frequency it gives off. Got it. That's a lot, but I think I finally get it. The amethyst creates a protective barrier. Exactly. Can't you feel it? Yes. The moon just entered Pisces. And the sun's in Taurus. There's a unique energy on the horizon seeking to know more. What else can we do to prepare for this? Just keep your chakras open and breathe. <sighs> We've been ready for this for a while and we need to be ready to interpret this energy for others. Can see. We have a bit of a situation. Oh. B10B? That was the it's ready notification. Excellent. Much faster than I had predicted. I also detect a singed plastic aroma in the air. Make a note. Shall we try this knowledge square next? No, leave the knowledge square. Hand me those comfort foot coverings. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. I see now why they call it a poster. I'd like a climate report, B10B. Yes, B10. As expected, mass excitement surrounding the event. Emotions continue to blind humans to the truth. They continue to see this as an opportunistic moment to further a personal cause. Does the analysis predict a new outcome this time? Percentages are slim to non-existent. This is not good, B10B. We need to gather these new feelings before the mission is over, or we will be banished. Banished? <laughs> Now.
Next time on More Than a Feeling, Logan washes burrito out of his hair and discovers Cole's Rat Pack idea might not be so far-fetched. You knew what I knew, and here we are. you have to keep it down. And Enrique and Vegas sit down for a chat about everything. What is your opinion on the new James Charles scandal? <laughs> Let's talk about this. David Dobrik, <laughs> cancel. <laughs> Don't you just love Lady Gaga? And nothing. I'm up the deep end, watch what as I dive in. She? I got a $5 chupapa box from Taco Bell today. Oh my god, that sounds so good. <laughs> you know who should sponsor me? Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, give me, give me more. Give me, it's literally the best podcast know. in the world. Hey, Vegas, you're awesome. <laughs> you're super cool. <laughs> ha ha who? Her dad is getting like all her money and she worked all so hard with that money. We're higher than a mother. Like, Better than Charlie D'Amelio. She doesn't deserve the fame. We actually do stuff. Let's go, go to, to the, the beach, beach, beach. Let's, let's go get away. away. No, I didn't, Dignat. Listen, I said Brooke is your get mother. Get your finger out of my face. Oh my god, that seems so good. No, oh, I love to dance. Starships hey. were meant to 